Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Spider Man, the video game. Spider Man is a side scrolling beat em up that was developed by Sega in 1991. In this game, you get to play as Spider Man or one of his allies to retrieve a mystical artifact from Kingpin and Doctor Doom. This game can be played up to four players consecutively, and I recommend playing this game or any side scroller with as many people as possible. It's just more fun that way. You have to fight your way through 16 parallel stages, and this is where it gets a little interesting. Basically, arcade side scrollers sometimes run the risk of becoming too repetitive. To break this up, Spider Man has stages where it zooms in for more focused hand to hand action and zooms out for some web crawling platforming. Throughout the game, you have to fight through a stable of Spider Man villains such as Venom, Doc Ock, Lizard, Electro, Scorpion, Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, and Sandman. Phew! One thing about this game is the characters walk pretty slow. Sometimes I have problems making them run, or if they can run, sometimes I'm not sure. I mean, I do the traditional double taps to try to make it run, but it doesn't seem to work at times. If you're gonna play this game, you better get used to the web swinger to move yourself to and fro. Sometimes when you replay these arcade games on main, or whichever ports you're using, it can be a revelation. When blessed with unlimited credits and auto fire, a lot of the intensity, emotion, concentration, and excitement is removed from the game, and it becomes more of a passive experience, unfortunately. Having limited limitations like a limited amount of quarters and not being able to push the fire button like a woodpecker did add to the excitement. Some games escape this problem by not being able to continue from the same spot and or having captivating visuals because it's really hard to develop an engrossing story with an arcade game. Spider-Man is one of those games that suffer from this dilemma. It's a beautiful looking game, but it does get repetitive unfortunately. I'm not saying it's a one and done game. You'll probably play it more than once, but once you put it down, you, you, you're probably never gonna pick it up again. So check the game out and let me know what you think.